Welcome to the ADI Frames manual frame creation tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a frame manually uh, that has different size bays. Um, if you viewed the tutorial on automatic frame creation, you'll be familiar with the tool. If you have not, I recommend you do that first. So what I've got here is a plan section that I brought in from an architect's drawings. And if you look down here, he's got an elevation that's going to be 175 feet wide. Then I also brought in his section, and that section is roughly 23 feet high. You and I both know if I'm going to draw an elevation like this, I'm going to have to put in some time. But with this tool, you can do it in just minutes. So what I'd like to do first is take a construction line, and I want to lay it down on the center points of my mullions both vertically and horizontally. So let me grab my construction line, click my center point, and all I'm going to do here is just keep placing them on my mullions throughout the whole elevation. I'm doing this in real time so you can see how fast it is to draw this. And I won't speed up the demo video because this is a really nice tool. It makes things so easy. Ooh, this one's definitely going on a while. Uh, if you notice, I might not be snapping to centers. I'm just trying to keep it quick for demonstration purposes. But that's okay. This will show you that the bays do not have to be equal. And that's the uh, great thing about the manual generation tool. All right. I have my vertical lines laid out. <clears throat> now I'm going to lay out my horizontal lines. Okay, here's my grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my frame tool. I'm going to select my system. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a 1600 type. And the window name, I really don't care about that right now. Let's just make it window type 10, though. My layers, you can see on the other demonstration what those layers are for. And my frame generation is going to be manual, so that's clicked. This time I don't want details. And my shim spaces, I need to set them up too. So I have my basic parameters in here. So I'm going to hit OK. And what the program is asking me for is the vertical frame base point. And what that is, is the lower left hand corner of your frame. So go click that. Now it's asking me to set my frame height. Select the frame height or enter for auto setting. Well, what I'm going to do is go to the top here and determine my frame height. Now the tool is asking me to place my vertical frames. So what I'm going to do is just click along at every intersection here. If I zoom out, and zoom back in, you'll notice that I have a little dot in here letting me know that I already marked that line. So I'm just going to continue clicking along the elevation. Just like I did before. I suppose if you lined up your plan section and your vertical section in perfect alignment, you could avoid using construction lines but I'm so used to using construction lines that this is how I do it. So after you place your last vertical, press enter and it's going to ask you to start placing your horizontals. So here's my cross. I'm going to place my horizontal there, there, and just keep continuing up just like I laid out my construction lines. 
And when I get to my top one, I press enter. And there you go. A huge elevation drawn and dimensioned. Perfect. Now another little trick here. I can shut off my dimensions and my frames. So now I'm left with panes of glass. So let's say I had to label these panes of glass. I want to press my uh, glass tool and I'll enter GL1, um, maybe T. And we'll use the uh, tempered for the bottom row. Now, this stuff here I will cover in another tutorial, but for right now, I just want to show you how quick it is to label these pieces of glass. So here I'm going to label them, and then I'm going to do the command again, and maybe these are just GL1s, not tempered. So I'm going to select all of these, and it's done. All of my glass is nicely labeled. I go turn my layers back on. There you have it. We gotta add some detail tags, maybe anchor locations, but boy is that quick. Now, look over here. Notice our tempered, a perfect glass list, compiled. And then here's our glass list for our annealed. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Please stay tuned for others.